number three. Praise the Lord. It's good to see y'all this morning. Amen. 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 If you're glad to be here, why don't you go to Ecclesiastes chapter number three. Take that hand and just say it's good to be here one more time. Amen. If Greg was tired, I would just ask him, I'm glad to be here one more time. He did have to let me be here one more time. My mom and him used to say that back in the Baptist church, but y'all don't know that one more time. He did have to let me be here, but I'm glad to be here one more time. That's when they had the Amen corner. Amen. They had the um, uh, uh, the mother's board, but uh, y'all don't know nothing about that, but I'm glad to be here one more time. Amen. And God has been mighty good to some of us. And I bless his holy name. Ecclesiastes chapter number three. Most of the time when we hear Ecclesiastes, we're at a funeral. But today we're not at a funeral. I'm going to start by reading verse one. And then we're going to go down to verse 10 because there's some meat in verse number 10. But the Ecclesiastes, the preacher Solomon wrote Ecclesiastes, Old Testament, chapter number 3. We'll read verse 1 and I'm going to jump down to verse 10. And then the preacher Solomon says that everything that is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Now I'm going to read verse 10. I'm going to jump down to verse 10. If you have your Bible, your devices, your smartphone, it says, I have seen the travail which God have given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He have made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he have set the world in thy heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in him, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. Amen. Also, I want you to run over to Psalms 126. Go to Psalms 126, where we're going to really work with chapter number three of Ecclesiastes. Go to Psalms 126. And uh, we, we got something to talk about this morning. Amen. We got something we want to remind some of us of this morning. Praise God. Psalms 126. We'll be there for a few minutes. Psalms 126, when you found it, I want y'all to holler, amen. 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 Psalms 126 reads as following, verses 5 and 6. It says, verse 5 says, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth in weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. And for those that didn't understand verse 5, those who shall reap in tears shall uh, reap in joy. Those that sow in tears, you're going to reap in joy. I want y'all to understand, you've been crying, but you're getting ready to rejoice after a while. Yeah. But only a few y'all talk. Hey, some of you have been crying because things look bad. But in a few more days, God's getting ready to turn it around for your good. They've been predicting that we're in a recession, but some of us been get in a progression. The economy has been looking jacked up, but some of your household getting ready to get a blessing. Y'all ain't coming here with your name on it. Amen. God's getting ready to bless you because you've been faithful when you could have gave up. Praise God. And then 
we find with 3rd John, 3rd John, and I'm going to get out here, 3rd John chapter, 3rd John verse 2, 3rd John 2, 3rd John 2, but up, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thou soul prosper. Can I read the Amplified Version, please, sir, please, ma'am? Yeah. It says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way. I dare you to look at somebody say everything around me and everywhere around me about to prosper. Y'all ain't reading your Bible. Y'all been reading TikTok too long. The Bible says everything around you and every way your body may be well. Even as I know your soul will keep well and is about to prosper. Y'all be saying nothing. Say everything around me is about to prosper. I'm going to use for a subject this morning in God's time. And I'm going to shout with you. Look at your watch. Say it's God's time right now. 931 is God's time. Somebody missed it in God's time. You missed it. It's already God's time. Amen. Solomon was the wisest man in the world. And he began to say, in everything, into everything that is a season and a time. Somebody say, God's time. Uh -huh. To every purpose under the heaven. He says, to everything that matters to God is already God's time. Look at your what it says, 932 is God's time. So, so to everybody that's been trying to wonder when it was going to be your time, somebody need to shout, it's already God's time. So you've been waiting when, when God was going to bless you, say, it's already God's time. See, when we go to funerals and we read this, to everything that is a season and a time, we're talking to the dead, but this morning I'm talking to the living. I'm about to finish preaching. And he said, I have seen your travail. He did not work. Y'all ain't preaching. He said, I've seen the trouble days. Verse number 10. He said, I've seen your ups and downs. He said, I've seen your painful labor. He said, I've seen them days when you didn't know how you was going to make it. He said, and I have given to you sons of men to be exercised in it. He said, I have seen you go through some miserable times. Good God Almighty. He said, I have seen you have some miserable business that you had to go through. He said, but now you've been busy taking care of all of that. Praise the Lord. He said, I have made everything beautiful. Preach Dr. Delta George out there. I made this stuff beautiful. He said, and in God's time, you're going to be able to enjoy this stuff. You ain't preaching nothing in here. The devil told you you're going to be 90 years old, then you're going to enjoy the devil is alive. You're going to start enjoying it right now. Y'all got to get with me this morning. You better, in God's time, it's right now, 934. It's God's time that you start enjoying life right now. I'm going to put my money back to the devil is alive. In God's time, you need to start right now because you don't know the day nor the hour. I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about enjoying life more abundantly. Start enjoying life in your mind. Tell the devil you can't have my mind because my mind belongs to Jesus Christ. Let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus in God's time. I know some folks got a lot of money but they don't have their mind. Can I release some of you to 
used to pray and came in third John 2. He said, above all things. Above everything else that's going on. I wish that you would be well. He said, I wish that your soul would be well. And that you would prosper. And be in good health. And you ain't going to be in good health. Keep pity feet all the time. You got to take care of that body that he done gave you. You got to make sure you give you up one body. Make sure you take care of that one as long as you can. But every now and then, y'all be saying in the outlet, eat you some pork chop every now and then. Every now and then, eat you a little something, but do it in moderation. Come on, y'all. Y'all be saying that to me. But, 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 but understand, you don't have to eat bad all the time. Enjoy life. Don't deprive yourself of everything. Y'all ain't saying to me. Janice and I went to the peach cobbler thing yesterday, the factory. And, and the line was out the door. We get in there, and Doug Curb and her sister was in there. And, and, and I'm just sharing. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. And, and, and we get in there, and I mean, on the menu, all they had was. Sweet. <laughs> well, listen, my beloved. When I got there, I knew what it was. I didn't go there in the blind not knowing all they had was sweet. I didn't go in there knowing all they had was sweet. I didn't go there thinking they were going to have healthy foods on the menu. in their heart so that no man can find out the word 
work that God making from the beginning to the end. God so awesome, he didn't let nobody know how he made it. God so awesome when, when he created this beautiful world that we get to enjoy. Everybody was asleep. He didn't let us stay awake to see nothing. And then on the seventh day, on the sixth day, I think I made man now. That made the Genesis. Because man would have got so wise to try to create and recreate what God wanted to do. So he said, now I'll make man in my image, in my likeness. And he made woman, he made man, and then he made woman. And God, dog, y'all, y'all don't reach out my no more. And when, when, when he made that woman, and, and the man saw that woman, he said, oh, whoa, whoa. Yes. <laughs> 
going to do this. You got to let God take the His way in this. Number three. I'm going to number three. My God. Nothing can be altered. This is right here. Bless my mind. Nothing can be altered in the Lord's master plan. <laughs> Can be altered in the Lord's master plan. Amen. 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 He never built a house from the ground up. You can go to that building all you want to. And, the mo and, and, and most of the time, this is what they'll tell you if you ever build a house from the ground up, I can't alter that. If I do, it's going to be a low charge. They call that a low grade. You, you, I would grant it. Oh, sure, I had grant it. Oh, George. Yeah. I, 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 I want some more bags for sure. Yes. That's a good grant. I want some, I want some granite in my shower. And I don't like the, um, the showers that you, showers that you provide. Can you get me some clothes? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in God's plan, yes. you can't go to it. It's been said. He said, You're already blessed and highly favored. You can't alter that. He already said, You're blessed in the city and you're blessed in the field. He already said, Touch that man, I know what want to do, my prophet, no more. And I never seen the righteous forsaken. No, it's seed, bed, and bread. Do you not know that can't be altered by you? God is almighty good God. Yes, he is. Y'all ain't preaching nothing right now. It is in God's time. You want to look at something? 954. Look like God would have blessed me by now. I'm going to have on this one. The reason he didn't bless some of y'all. Cause you're Aaron. I say arrogant. And if he bless you, you already don't have come to church. You wouldn't come at all. You already have a uh, stank attitude still there. He couldn't bless some of us yet. Because you really pay about folk that took his feet. I can see you. You can see me by me. You already cried. So that you might want to look at your watch and say, I see why he bless me. I Get some of this stuff out of me. I need a cleanse. I need one of them cleanse because right now I ain't ready for the blessing that He got for me because I need to make sure I'm ready in my attitude. I already don't bless nobody, so He can't put nothing else on me. Just I already don't know how to be kind hearted and loving and forgiving. So that is now He ain't ready.
jawab soal majid nabil ya udah kuat berapa ada problem with the young folk that ain't working no remotely I'm telling some of y'all if you're a woman you can go to Bucky's and work Bucky's is starting you off at 17 dollars an hour Get in your car and go over to Auburn and make some of Bucky's money. I don't know if you're a chipmunk or a rabbit or a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah laughing at me now. Whatever he is, he pays well. Y'all pass off the subject. I'm talking about labor. And in God's time, they may promote you to wash cars and they get $25 an hour. A piece of mind is worth a piece of money. Y'all ain't saying that in the day. I'm telling you, it's a master plan for your life to be blessed. Somebody ought to shout, be blessed. Be blessed. And if you don't know something, ask somebody that knows something. We don't know everything, but we know some things. God got a master plan for your life. And we're in some dark time, but we serve a big God. We're in some dark days, y'all, but we serve a big God. He's got it all figured out, all things. It looks like God has got this thing figured out. You just enjoy life. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, it's in God's time. Anybody ever felt like giving up and before you were going to give up, God showed up and showed out. That's all that God ever showed up and showed up in your life. We're in some dark time. We're in some bad time. We're in some critical time. But guess what God just told y'all this morning? In his time. In his time. Yes. That's so good. And God's time is awesome. Yes. Get around some folk that got some good vibes on them. Yes. And they ain't all uh, uh, got to be old folks. Some young folk got some good vibes. Yes. Amen. There's some old folk got some good vibes, young folk. Amen. I'm going to tell y'all what happened to me, and it's true. I was supposed to be in Jamaica last week. I was mad as fish freaks. High. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was high. I'll be mad. I can't go to the trip. I'm mad. I walk around with an attitude for a minute. And I can go for various sundry reasons. So that trip got canceled. I'm mad now. I'm mad. Mm. So they said, uh, well, since my little travel group said, since we did not go to uh, go to uh, Jamaica now, why don't we, it's out of the blue. I'm talking about enjoying life. Let's go to Dubai. 